History lives and breathes in every corner of Chester County. At the corner of Route 113 and Village Avenue is the site of the Euclid Meeting House. This architectural and historical gem reflects the Quaker character of its builders. The stately stone gray house sits with quiet dignity as the hectic pace of 21st century living zooms by. At the Euclid Conservation Trust, we take responsibility for the maintenance, upkeep, and preservation of the Euclid Meeting House. This building no longer functions as a Quaker Meeting House, but as an historical artifact, a place where the general public can gather in appreciation of their shared history. 1776. Two decades after it was built, the Meeting House was taken over to be used as a hospital for wounded Revolutionary War soldiers during Washington's encampment at Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. During the Civil War, the Quakers opened its doors to the wounded because of their opposition to slavery, and it was rumored to be a stop on the Underground Railroad. A legacy from the Civil War era, messages are carefully lettered graffiti on the walls of the second floor balcony. Preserved by a dropped ceiling, the names, regiment numbers, and other messages are scratched into the walls. One of those messages, an especially poignant one, reads, quote, Love killed at Chancellorsville belonged to 11th Pennsylvania Reserves, end quote. 1827. In 1827, the Quakers split into two factions, known as the Orthodox and the Hicksite. The meeting house was literally split down the center with a wooden partition the very real symbol of dogmatic differences. The partition still exists today, although the panels have been raised. The Quakers rented the house to the Euclid Township School Board in 1904, and it remained an active schoolhouse until the early 1960s. 1920. In 1920, the meeting house was sold to the Euclid Grange patrons of husbandry with the Quakers retaining possession of the cemetery grounds behind the building. The small white headstones bear the names of those who died in the 18th and 19th centuries, as well as unmarked graves of soldiers who died during the Revolutionary War. 1963. In 1963, the historic Euclid Meeting House was purchased by the Women's Community Club of Euclid, and renovations were begun. In 1973, through their efforts, the building was placed on the National Register of Historic Places. Three years later, the Meeting House was sold to the Euclid Conservation Trust, Incorporated, a 501c3 nonprofit organization which owns the building and its grounds. Major improvements included replacing the shingle roof along and repairing the cornices. Two corner chimneys were added in order to restore the building to its original four chimney appearance. A rotting Victorian porch was removed to reveal a walled up doorway with keystone arc. An enclosed porch was turned into a modern kitchen in order to support catering for rental parties like bridal showers and birthday parties. The old shed is now the powder room and the original bathroom, which still has the indentations in the wall for candles, has been turned into a storage area. Today. Today the Meeting House is open for tours the first Sunday of the month from April until November. The Women's Community Club of Euclid continues to raise funds for the Meeting House by holding its annual Christmas Greens Fair the first Saturday of December and the Community Plant Sale the first Saturday of May. The Meeting House is available for private rentals and community gatherings. The goal of the Euclid Conservation Trust, Inc. is to further its outreach efforts to new generations and raise funds to continue to preserve an environmentally fragile building rich in local history. We need your help. Right now, we are turning to you, friends on GoFundMe, 
for help raising $40,000. This capital will cover the costs of a new boiler to heat the building, new windows to keep the building insulated, and new ceiling beams to keep the structure sound. The Euclid Meeting House still stands on its original 1756 spot and a dedicated group of loyal supporters are determined to save what is the last surviving triad of Quaker meeting houses. Your contributions go a long way toward making that happen. Thank you.